Park in Houston. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Houston Astros. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Jackson's swing. Now it appealed to first. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. And the pitch. And now the count is even. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Close one doesn't get the call. And a count two and one. And another ball. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. That's in there. Three and two now. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Headed towards the corner. Tucker on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now Scott Service lined up for the Seattle Mariners. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Mitch Hanniger. And he's leading them in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure. And he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base and they get big. They feel like all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. Very high with that one. And it's one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, oh, to look for break. something ball down two. in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. One out, base is empty. Next pitch is outside. Two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Popped up. Altuve settles underneath it. Makes the grab. That's out number two. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Two outs, space is empty. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. And that one missing low. Verlander, 41 years old, a former first round pick back in 2004. Two out spaces empty. Not even close there. And it's two and one. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. Pitch in the dirt, and now it's three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Oh, 
Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball hey. right now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Mariners go down quietly there. Now here come the Astros. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park, and on the hill in this one, Emerson Hancock. What do you look for here? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher, so it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. And a pitch. Jose Altuve leading things off and takes a strike. Altuve officially joined the 2000 hit club in 2023 with every career hit as a Houston Astro. Third player in club history with 2000 hits and 200 home runs. Jeff Bagwell, Craig Biggio, those are the two others and that's some great company boo. Two now on the ground to third rolls across the diamond one gone bottom half of the first now we check out the Astros lineup that second a really important guy for them Alex Bregman well these days we know teams you know they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup but a guy like this they circle him make sure he doesn't beat you uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge Aye. difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see the how they try to work him right here. The wind and the pitch. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. And That's downstairs. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes, account. And he gets Bregman. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. That is good. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Our grounder into the outfield for a knock. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. He pulled that one right in the direction of the shifted defense, but no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Here's Kyle Tucker. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Alvarez off of first with two away. That's out to center field. Rodriguez heads towards it. And that is that. One left for Houston. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second. In now is the Mariners DH. Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh. You know, Raleigh made history in 2023. He had a game with two home runs and six RBIs, becoming the first catcher in Mariners history to do that. Verlander back to work. Hey. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Speaking of dingers, he's the second fastest to 50 home runs in Seattle history. Nope. Only A-Rod needed fewer games. Righty to the plate. Nope, that's a ball. You got two balls, one strike. The line of the pitch. Swings and misses. Two and two. <laughs> yeah. Hardest thing Banks had to do in his career was keep that big smile on his face coming to the yard every day. Boy, the Cubs had some tough seasons. Now a blooper back behind first. That one gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Hey, whatever works, right? It doesn't have to be impressive. We're back to a breaking ball, and he didn't go the other way with it like you might think, but he put a good swing on it, squared it up nicely. So digging in, Ty France. That one oh. close, ruled the ball. And that's, that's ball one. one. Nobody out, runner at first. Clips the corner, and it's one and one. And he deals. In the air, out towards left center. Alvarez makes the catch, and there's one gone. The Dylan Moore. Here's Dylan Moore. Swing and a base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Luis Arias. Golden opportunity right here. In yeah. there at the knees. Strike one. All in one. Second and third, one away. Here at the top of the second. To the right side. Now two away as they get a run across. Sam Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Sam Haggerty. Looking for his first big league hit right here. up the middle and it gets through in comes the run from third and they take a two run lead so he gets two milestones with that hit his first big league knock and he drives in his first run as well yeah you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat and it makes the special moment even more special it's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team that's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Two outs, runner at first. Now the Mariners catcher, Sebi Zavala. Clips the outside corner, and it's 0-1. Two outs right through there for a strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Mariners two and the Astros nothing. Bottom half of inning number two, and stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side, and it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second, and he's there with a leadoff double. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Yeah. 
Now it's the DH. Up and in, ball one. Pena at second with nobody out. Out of line, out towards center. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Vic Caratini at the plate. Side. Hanniger sizing it up. They got it for out number two. Hanniger, the center fielder. Joey, And here's the rookie center fielder. is over. So the Astros lead one and they're down to nothing. Back here in Houston out of the third inning and now the center fielder Julio Rodriguez. The right hander back to work. And takes low for ball one. Wouldn't oh, chase that play. time. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. The wind of the pitch. And yep, that's that outside. Out. out there to center. Moving under it. And there's one down. The bat, the, bat. the right field. Mid now batting Mitch Hanniger. Over one so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And another ball. One down, base is empty. Hey. You tie a guy up like Three that, balls, you're feeling strike. like you are in command. The 2 1. Next That's offering misses three. down and away. Three balls, one strike. And he walked ball, him. Four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The, the hitter the didn't second. offer at it. Second now he has somebody to worry about Jorge. over at first. Jorge. So up next, Jorge Polanco struck out swinging his first time. In the air to left center. In and to his right. And makes the grab. And there's two down. So now it's the four hole hitter, Cal Raleigh. Singled and scored his first time. And there's a foul ball. Right hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball. Two outs. Three. Sets him down looking. 
Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. One left for Seattle, but they hold the 2 0 lead. As we go to the last of the third, and now Mauricio Dubon. And a pitch. And a foul ball, third base side. Kicks and fires. And a ground ball to first. He'll do it himself. Oh. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now that second baseman, Jose Altuve. So the batting order turns over. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Jose Altuve. First time up, he grounded to third. Just off the outside edge, ball one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That was blasted to the moon. And they're on the board. It's 2-1. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now it's Alex Bregman. That one's in there. That's strike one. And here it comes. Hard ground ball base now. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Oh, Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Oh, Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. One for one with a single so far. Way one high with that one. And it's one to know. Bregman leads off first with one away. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. And the righty deals. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Now fly ball to right center. Rodriguez under this one. Brings it in. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And a foul ball. Foul ball left side. Here comes a pitch. That's a ball. Probably missed badly with One that 0-2 fastball. Two Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. 
off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Haggerty in position, and that ends the inning. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. The pitch. Splits the plate. Going one. Line drive. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now that Dylan. And the batter will be the shortstop. Dylan Moore. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Tap softly to the right side. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. And up next for Seattle, Luis Orias. He's 0 for 1. Right through there for a strike. One out and a runner at second. Oh. The one one is fouled off. And a one two. Fights it off, he'll see another. The one two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. The one two. Ball oh, inside. Good eye in that spot. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And that's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. And now for Seattle, Sam Haggerty singled and drove in a run his first time through. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Drifts towards it. Two away. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder now open. Backside collapsed a little Seven. bit in the launch angle. Not where he needed it to be. So first and second with two outs. Sebi Zavala digs in now. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Fall off foul. France over at second. Urias on at first with two down. Bounce to the left side. And that's that just back. foul. Two on, two outs. Ball on that now. Hard ground ball, base nine. Around third, the throw in. The tag, and he's in there. 
Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. And he pumps it a strike. Swing and a miss. Oh, two now. The ends trying to break this one open. Top half of inning number four. And that's too high. Action in the pen down there. Hunter Brown, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Just misses with that one. Two outs. Tapped softly on the ground. On the run, sends it over to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here in Houston, out of four. And stepping in is the speedy Jeremy Pena. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. pitch foul ball still 0 and 2 the pitch on the ground right side gets it to first leadoff hitter retired in the fourth now number 20 so now the Astros designated hitter He's over one. Outside, that's the ball. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one lifted in the air, center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Number 17, Victor. They're the better now, Victor Caratini. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two down, nobody on. That oh, one missed. Damn. The middle four. Play made. That ends the inning. One, two, three. Go the Astros. Score holds. It's 3 1. We go to the top of the fifth. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. And the right hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Tucker should have it. Puts it away for the out. The batter of Second, Second base. Jorge Polanco. And up next for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. And that is in for a strike. Oh, one. one. Count. And a foul ball. Two 
gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. Cold strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Felt definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Rowley lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Ground ball right side. And it goes just foul. Next one misses. And the count is two and two. Two ball, two strikes. In the air, left field. Alvarez in position. Nabs it, and that'll do it. Back here at Minute Maid Park, bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Astros, number 83. Hancock back to work. Hey. Kicks and deals. That one misses, ball, one and it's one and one. Just one missed. Two ball, one strike. Righty delivers. Three balls, one strike. There's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Fouls one away and now three and two. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter or two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Duvall in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Pitch misses and now 2 0. Jose Altuve, up next for the Astros. The Mariners leading by two, last half of inning number five. That one finds the zone, three and one. Right through there for a strike. Three and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Hancock picks the first. Back in there standing. Runner at first with no outs here. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So the Houston lineup turns over. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. He's already homered in this game. Little chopper rolls foul. No outs, runners at first and second. Out. 
out front and foul to the left side. And the pitch. And just misses with that one. And another ball. First and second here, no outs. And now it's filled up. Broken bat, and it's popped up. It's Alex Bregman, one for two. And yeah, nope. that's a little oh. high. Two on, one out. Headed down the line. And that will drop foul. Swing and a miss, and One that's ball. strike two. two strike. Way ball inside, two. gets out of the way. Oh, and he gets Bregman, two away. So first and second with two outs. No down Alvarez. Up next for the Astros. Left-hand hitter waits. Ripped, but it curls foul. That two misses, balls, one and it's two and one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. And that's downstairs and outside. Righty to the plate. That one is absolutely belted. And no one can run it down. One runs in, and the throw is wild. Well, there you go with the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Next to hit for Houston, Kyle Tucker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man, it's second. Knocks it down. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the end. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. We're tied now with three apiece. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Ty France. And he deals. That's in there. That's strike one.
the wind of the pitch. Got him. And now one away. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Here's the shortstop at the play. Dylan Moore. That oh. misses the zone. And that is ball one. And a good eye there. Two balls, no fair. That one to first. And he handles it himself for the out. The third base number 16, Luis Urias. And now for Seattle, Luis Urias. One's in there. Strike one. Movement in the bullpen. from Valdez. The southpaw is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Martinez, a right-hander, loosening up as well. The pitch. And that one sliced foul. Two outs. That one, one way outside. Now one and two. Yeah, there's a ball. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And that extends the inning. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Really good swing right there. You got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws and now Sam Haggerty and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter right-hander kicks deals I got one ball one strike in the dirt but kept close and the runner stays where he is Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. With the go ahead run at first, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Ouch. Yep, he had him Take one, two, and he ends up hitting them with a pitch. Now the Mariners catcher, Sebi Zavala. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored this guy is a big Ooh, contributor that one off the mark one and oh I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense especially at a premier position and that's what he does just missed no great and a foul ball makes the count two and one And a pitch. Hard hit to right center. Dives there. Got it. Makes the play. A bit of a do or die there. He lays out, makes the diving catch, and he strands a couple of runners. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Bryce Miller. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Jeremy Pena getting ready to hit. The line to kick the pitch. That catches the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Gabe Spire, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Kirby also getting ready. That catches the corner. Hey. 
gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. The shortstop takes the ball. Chases that one out of the zone. One away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Next is the designated hitter. There's a strike, 95 of that one. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. That one's in there, and that is strike two. And the right hander deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Victor Caratini up next for the Astros. Victor Caratini. First nope. pitch, and he just misses. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Urias drifts towards it, and a foul ball. Swing and a miss. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. That one 95 to finish him off. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Seth Martinez. He's pitching on two days rest. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. The pitch. And that one pulled foul. And he'll one. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. He was all over that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Go-ahead run on base, and stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. He was late. Deal two. One and ball, ball one. Two straight. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. And here it comes. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. The batter, the batter, the batter. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Jorge Polanco. Over three with two strikeouts and a flyout.
That Eight. catches the outside corner. That's strike one. Ball one. one there. One and one. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Three. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch okay. after giving up the leadoff single back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner off, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. It's low and gets away. Strike in the outside corner. It's 0-1. Two outs, and there he goes. Next offering is fouled back. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Bregman, now the throw to first on the run. And that is the inning. Mariners leave one. Score remains tied at three. Here in Houston, yeah, yeah. sit for the last half of the seventh, and no, stepping no, no, no. in for the Astros, number 83. Yeah. The wind of the pitch. That's a ball. Ball one, no strike. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. Blasted the other way down the line, and it's a foul ball. Going with a foul ball. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off hey. pitches. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. That was a really nice pitch call for that middle way slider right there. You look at the sequence in that at bat, and he hadn't thrown it yet, so this makes it really tough to recognize and fight off with two strikes. I'm sure it looked like a fastball all the way until it wasn't. Here's Mauricio Dubon. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. That one missed. Base is empty, one away. Here in the bottom of the seven. Out towards right center field. Hanniger has a beat on it. Snags it for the second out. Now that second base. Back to the top of the lineup. Jose Altuve will hit next. He's already homer here in this one. He's a big strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Ripped on a line to center. Corrals it. And the inning is over. Astros go down one, two, three. So no change in the score. It's three, three. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ronel Blanco. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. 
Ty France now at the plate. One for three. Ty France. The pitch. And that one clips the corner. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's going back. Back some more. Out of here. He'll take a jog around the bases. And now they're out in front. It's 4-3. You can sense it inside the stadium. These fans are devastated. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Moore in the box now. No balls in a strike. And the righty deals. And that's in for a strike. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Frommer Valdez preparing to come on if needed. Presley also throwing. Here comes a pitch. Ball that's out. Line drive, base hit. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Luis Orias up next for the Mariners. Just missed. pitch swing and a tapper that rolls foul one on nobody out a run in and we're in the top of the eighth and Whoa, that's outside that and a count two and one good oh, eye in that spot to first. Moore back easily. Moore gets his lead at first with nobody out. And that clips the inside corner. Two stays alive. And a pitch. And ball four to a board. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Sam Haggerty. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite. Fires to first on the run. Oh. On target. He got him. Nice play. The
And now for Seattle, Sebi Zavala. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. Second and third here, one away. Base hit, one run is in. Around third. He'll score, two runs are in, and they're up by three. Nicely done, brings home two. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it and from Valdez into the game and one thing on him he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park not an easy guy to take deep and now the center fielder Julio Rodriguez pitches in the dirt and that's ball one pitch Aye. knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone right there swinging at that pitch that's a no-no and Two another ball, ball. Right. that ah. one finds the zone and now to a two at the belt and fire to second there's one back to first for two and that'll do it so they get three and jump ahead late last half of the eighth coming up it's the Mariners six and the Astros three back now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Taylor Saucedo this southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters Here's Alex Bregman. Go. For the, Astros. the Astros in striking the distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the right leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That's to third. And they get Bregman for the out. The left fielder, number 44, Jordan Alvarez. So digging in, Jordan Alvarez. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. In there at the knees for a strike. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. He's got it, and there's two away. A couple of pitches Don't and like a quick out. Number 30. Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. That one, one not close, and that's ball one. Just missed. That's the third. Urias. Now he launches a throw over his head. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second safely. Just kind of sailed that throw and pulled it across his body towards the right field side of first base. And usually that means the fielder just didn't square up his shoulders to the target. And I think that throw had just as much to do with his footwork as anything else. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. 
wouldn't oh, chase no that side. time. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch is downstairs. Right through there for a strike. Rips that one center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. So no runs on no hits. One error and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mariners six. Yeah, the Astros three. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Presley. Back here in Houston, we go to the ninth. Now here is Mitch Haniger. The pitch. And that's outside. Ball one. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Bregman sizes this one up. And out number one on the grab. The batter with second, second base. Jorge. Jorge. And up Polanco. next for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. Nice 0 for 4 with three strikeouts and a flyout. Just missed. Activity in the bullpen. Taylor Scott, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Righty delivers. And downstairs. One down, base is empty. That clips the corner. Good eye right there. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. Line to left and a base hit. Got a pretty ugly over oh, going into this game up until that at bat, so a little sigh of relief there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now the 01. Next oh, offering one. misses down and away. One and one. Not close with that one. one. Now two balls and a strike. And he deals. Pitch misses ball inside. Three. Ball three. And there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted yeah, him right. first base with the a first quick free pass. Tie. Two on with one out. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. Go, 
That one finds the zone. Going one. Going one. On the ground, could be two to second. That's yeah. one. On the first, yeah. double play. And that's the inning. So one hit is all they get. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mariners six and the Astros three. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Andres Munoz. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Now here's the Astros, Astros designated hitter. The designated hitter, number 28. And here it comes. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, one's the count. They say you win. No ball, two strikes. The 0-2. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Right. The punch out there. Now one away. Oh, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come Nick in Nick and Nick close Nick the Nick door. Nick cancel Nick any Nick hope Nick that that Nick opponent Nick has Nick in Nick making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Caratini plate, in now one. takes ball one off the plate. Ball, that's too high. Righty to the plate. Right through there for a strike. The Strohs trailing by three. Here the last half of inning number nine. And oh, another ball. Three one, one and he couldn't Pitch come up down. with it. They're not ready to go home quite yet. The bat. The center fielder. Man at first. Here's the center fielder. Strikeout and a walk. position and just one out well clearly he was ready to hit right there got a good pitch to drive stayed short with his back path to the ball and caught it out front and he stayed long in his follow through that's how you split the gap and that's pretty much a double every time so up next Mauricio Dubon that's first pitch misses count one and oh Missed. Two and And fouled off. With the tying run at the plate, we're in the last half of the ninth inning. Late with the swing there. Two ball, two strike. Inside almost got him. Mm -hmm. 
registers the punch out and hits 101. Looked like he reached back and got a little extra on that one. Triple digits on the miles per hour through the zone. No chance of touching that one. So it's their last chance in this one. Stepping in, Jose Altuve. Right through there for a strike. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Two outs, two in scoring position. Crush. Left center field. This one's deep for Gallup. He powers that one out of here. His second home run of the game is 6-6. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Gabe Spire. Tied at six. Alex Bregman digs in now. Clips the corner. Strike one. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Out of the zone and a called strike. Of the dirt swing and a miss. Savala gathers, goes the first, and it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. But this clutch home run gets us even again, and we're all even now at six apiece. Back here at Minute Maid Park, we're at extras here, and now for Seattle, Dylan Moore. Man at second, nobody out, Chris. Certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. The old one. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple. Three. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take. It, there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Substitution now at second base. Entering is the pinch runner, Leonardo Rivas. Tied at six, Luis Orias, the next to hit. And that one fouled off. Man at second. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Dives and makes the catch. 
Oh, that was a nice diving catch right there. Great effort, but if you look closely at his route, it, it wasn't as direct to the ball as you'd like to see. The angle initially not very good, but you have to credit him with making an adjustment, laying out, and getting the out. Nice job. So now a pinch hitter, Josh Rojas. And he's got the go-ahead run out there in scored position for him. Little chopper rolls foul. And that's outside. And that's outside. Now two balls and a strike. Fought off foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Lifted in the air and on the left side. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. On to the bottom of inning number 10. And we're all even at six apiece. Staying in the game on defense, Josh Rojas. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Now it also is. entering the game, number Luke Rayleigh. Mm -hmm. He takes over as the new mm -hmm. first baseman. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Astros, your Don Alvarez. As the lefty gets to work, wouldn't Ball. chase that time. Ball one, no strike. Exciting finish to this game today. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Fans are by the line for tonight. First look at the